welcome to the cadence in environment and we will start from the current mirror okay so basically i have taken uh, the vdd as 1.8 and i have taken that my uh, 2n mos for the current mirror what will happen it what will happen that what will happen what will happen that 10 micro current uh, will flow from this side okay 10 micro current will flow from this side and that is i ref and it will go to we should find this output current will are the same okay so this 10 micro current should flow in that point so this mosfet that nm0 let me name it at m5 it is our m5 from the diagram and it will be our m8 in the diagram okay so this in this current what will happen what happens in this current mirror uh, it will always be in saturation and same current will flow actually this is uh, this is our concept of a current mirror but what we need we need a voltage is at this point or this voltage that is at the drain voltage of m5 or the source voltage of our driver we need it minimum so that we can give some more voltage to the total upper circuit analog part so what we will do here so what we will uh, we'll take uh, we'll try to uh, actually what happens in the MOSFET is if we increase the W okay the VGS will decrease you can you can if it is in saturation and you can find this formula from the ID equation that W is inversely proportional to the VGS VGS gate to source so if I increase the W I can decrease the gate to source of this m8 okay and if uh, i can do somewhat like the threshold of this m8 is around 215 it can go to on uh, 215 but i want to make it 250 up to 250 i it will be good so i want to make this trend voltage 250 and i want to give some trend voltage here to our upper part of this op amp main part of driver uh, uh around 1.8 minus 250 millivolt 0.25 millivolt that is 1.55 okay so i want to give 1.55 volt to the top part okay so it will be in saturation so what i can do now i can simulate and i can show you that uh, okay let me simulate this one how much current i am getting uh, the current will be same but uh, i will see how much voltage we are getting let me launch ADEL okay I have no variables okay. I will only run the DC simulation okay I won't vary anything and I will see the result what is the current in the other branch okay so what you can see here let me show also the current so what you can see here the current in the id of m8 it is 10 micro okay the current i'm giving through this dc idc ideal current source but when this current is mirroring it is it should mirror the 10 micro but it is going 7.8 because in the saturation also our uh, lambda that is the channel length variation uh, that effect uh, because of that effect we multiply 1 plus lambda videos okay and we can see that's the problem here the VGS and VDS are equal so the current is 10 micro but here VGS is different VDS is different okay okay so what we can do we can increase the fingers fingers means uh, we will increase the 
or dub loop indirectly by increasing fingers okay we can increase the finger so that the vgs will this will drop and if we can drop this vgs to 250 because i am giving a voltage of 250 here so this vgs will be 250 this vgs will be 250 this vgs will be 250 and this vgs will be 250 and the current will be equal and we want equal current in the both sides okay we want equal currents at the both both of both sides so now the variable is there two the pulse one okay what i will do i'll i'll put a uh, let's go to the calculator and i am giving a operating point uh, of the vd sorry uh, the operating point from this one i'm taking vds okay and let me sorry sorry very sorry the operating point is vds and let me send it to the send here so what i want this vds to be 250 okay so okay let me and the uh, you can see the fingers of both are varying okay so let me do a parametric analysis here it will be easy to find what is the value of that one so i'll vary from 1 to 30 maybe finger widths and in a linear step of 1 So from here you can see at one point we are getting the 250 we will see that what point we are getting 250 so 13.48 or 14 we will take 14 okay we will take 14 for that one so if i give here 14 you can see the current will be equal so you can see current mostly equal for both the branches okay so 10 microcurrent in the reference and 10 microcurrent in the output so this is the current mirror so we have designed the current mirror such that this current and this current will equal will be equal but what happens with this current mirror also what happens that the if our length is not high so this will add uh, this will uh, add something to cmrr means this will problem this will be problematic because uh, of the lower length so what we can do we can increase the length also okay for a stable current mirror and the noise Okay. Okay. for the noise we'll try that one okay so for it it, it, it is becoming 220 okay you can reduce that one that thing you can reduce more so let me run again with the because we are reducing the gm that will that can add to noise okay i am doing again for that one So 250 it is around 8 
okay there is around 8 okay so now my currents are equal almost equal and my gm also decrease somewhat so we previously it was 200 now 182 now i can design the analog circuit in the top of that one okay so this is my current mirror i'll going to use this one okay 